you all the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13 and 8. You said in Malachi 3 and 6, I am the Lord and I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. God, we thank you today. You're in humility. You're the same. You're no different than you've always been. We have expectation of you today and from you today. We expect, Lord God, you to move among us who believe. God, we're your believers. We've come believing. You said in Psalm 62 and 5, my expectation is from thee, O oh Lord. God, we expect from you today. With hands raised, God, we surrender. God, with hands raised, Holy Ghost, we say you take this service from here. You take this time, this people from here. God, as my clay hand wraps around this microphone, I keep this service no longer. I give it back to you. Holy Ghost, at your divine disposal, pour us out. Make us the blessing, Lord God, that's poured out. God, use us for your glory and for your honor. You said in 1 Corinthians 1.31, if any man glory, let him glory in the Lord. And truly today, Jesus, we give you all praise, all applause, and all honors, all pats on the back. Lord God, we take our hats on and speak off to you, Holy Ghost. Our crowns, we throw them down, and we say, Holy Ghost, come and do what you want. Come and do as you desire, as you please, as you will in this room today and in the rooms of our heart as we open to you. Come, Spirit of life. You said in Romans 8 and 2, you are the Spirit of life. Holy Ghost, you said in Isaiah 4 and 4, your title, you're the Spirit of burning. Holy Ghost, come and burn us out. Burn the stuff out of us, God, that hinders you from using us like you desire to in these last hours. Come, my beloved, breathe on the slain, on the dead, that they may live, Ezekiel 37 and 9 declares. Come, O breath of God, from the four winds of heaven. Come today, blow upon us, Lord God. You said in Isaiah chapter 40 and verses 7, the grass withereth and the flower fades. Hallelujah, because the Spirit of God bloweth upon it, and surely the people are the grass. But verses 8 said, Lord, the grass withereth and the flower fades, but the Word of God shall stand forever. Lord, I pray by your Spirit you come and do a withering work today, that Lord God, the very flower of our flesh would fade in your wind as you come and blow through this place today. May we be gone with the wind. Blow that part out of us, Holy Ghost. It's unlike Christ. Blow that thing out of us. Blow us away today. That part of us away, Lord God, that hinders you and keeps you from moving in our life. Lord, we need to see mountains moved. But how in the world can we expect to see you move a mountain if we won't let you move us? If you won't let them, you, we won't let you move that out of us that's unlike you. So come Holy Ghost make us empty vessels today so you can fill us afresh. God I know that your word said in 2 Kings chapter 4, 1 through 6 Lord of the story of the widow woman Lord God who was trying to pay off the debt of her husband and Lord as the prophet told her to borrow God empty vessels and not a few who ever heard her son behind closed doors. God took the little bit of all that was left and Lord God they poured out and poured out as long as there was an empty vessel, there was all to give. There was all to pour from the little. Lord God, and in verses 6 of 2 Kings 4, Lord God, she asked her son, give me another vessel. And he said, Mama, there's no more empty vessels. And Lord, your word said, the all stayed. The all stopped. Holy Ghost, I realize today, Lord God, the all will stop. It'll cease. Lord God, when we provide no more emptiness. Lord God, when we don't come before you with this. Lord God, we just empty ourselves right now. God, everything in our mind, we think how the service ought to go, how it ought to be, the time, and all those things, God, that concern the world. Lord, you said in 1 Corinthians 2, 16, that we have the mind of Christ. And Holy Ghost, I pray our mind be that of Christ, Him that is anointed, that our mind be on the things that are above and all things of this earth. Colossians 3 and 2 declares, we set our affections there now, and we declare our kingdom go, and your will be done, your will be done, your kingdom come, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, with hands extended, Lord God, we salute you, and we bless you, and Holy Ghost, we welcome you, we lay aside our agendas, Holy Ghost, for your anointing, we die to us, so we might live in you, that we might see you, we lose sight of us, so we can see you today, come by the Precious. 
last word, Father God, in Romans 12 and 1, I present my body unto you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is our reasonable service. Lord God, we present ourselves, we dispose of self right now. Holy Ghost, we welcome your fresh oil for you said in Psalms 92 and 10, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Then in verses 11, you said, My eyes shall see my desire upon my enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire upon those that rise up against me. Holy Ghost, when your fresh oil comes, there'll be fresh sight. When your fresh oil comes, Holy Ghost, there'll be fresh hearing. We can't hear Jesus without you, Holy Ghost. We can't even call Jesus Lord except by the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 12, 3. God, you said in John 3 and 8, Jesus, you told Nicodemus, be born of the Spirit. Holy Ghost, no one can be saved without your moving and without your doing. So we welcome you today in this place, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, you said in Matthew 12 and 28, if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, the kingdom of God's come down to you. Holy Ghost, that is the kingdom of God in the earth. It is you moving, Holy Spirit, through your vessels that are yielded to you, that have surrendered to you, as your call do it come and flow today. Breath of God come today and use us for the glory of Jesus Christ. We have no power over demons apart from you, Holy Ghost. We have no power over sickness and disease apart from you, Holy Ghost. We have no power, Lord God, to call the sinner and see them transformed into a saint apart from you, Holy Spirit. So my beloved, my friend, I don't call on some it, some thing, some feeling, some force. I call on you my beloved friend, and I will welcome you today as I give you this time, as I give you this moment, as I give you my life, as I give you this people. Lord, this ain't our church, it ain't their church, it's yours. Hallelujah, so Holy Ghost, come, come right now. I know you're here, but when I say come, I put well in front of it. Welcome. Lord, I've been places before I was there, but I knew the word welcome. Holy Ghost, we don't want you to just be here, we want you welcome. You so welcome. Holy Ghost, your fruit is welcome. All your divine attributes, your administration, it is welcome here, Spirit of God. You said in Acts 1 and 8, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you'll be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, Samaria, and Judea, and the other most parts of the earth. Holy Ghost, when you come, your power follows. We don't come just pursuing some power, some feeling, some force, but we call upon you, person, Holy Ghost, and when you come, your power to heal will show up. Your power to save will come when you come. Your power to deliver the demoniacs, Lord God, will come when you come. Come, my beloved. Come on, lift your hands. Open your mouth and welcome him. He's not a guest. We're the guest. This is his house. Come, Holy Spirit, do what you want. In the mighty name of Jesus, we express our need of you today. You said in your precious word of Zechariah 4 and 6, it is not by might nor by power but it is by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. It's by you, precious spirit of God. You said man is not delivered by much strength. Psalms 33, 16. Lord, I realize it's not our merit, our ability, and our strength that will change your life this week. Or even this day. Let us just stay with today because you said boast not yourself in tomorrow. You don't know the day of bring Proverbs 27 and 1. So we forget about tonight or even the rest of the week. Lord God, all we have now is you. Is this now right here. You, from you, we have now. Hallelujah. God, the man of God read it earlier in Ephesians 3, 20. Now unto uh, him that is able to do exceedingly above all that we ask according to his power that works within us. Hallelujah. God, we declare now unto you. Can you do that with me today? Say now unto uh, him. Lord, we give you now, right now, wherefore today, right now, if you'll hear the voice of the Holy Ghost, Hebrews 3, 7, Holy Ghost, if you'll speak to us, we'll be different. If you speak to us, our lives will be changed. Lord, if you speak to us, things will die that need to die, and things will be resurrected that need to live. Hallelujah. So we just wait upon you. You said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they'll mount the wings as an eagle that run and not be weary, they'll walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Isaiah 40, verse 31, come on. Just lift your hands. Just wait on the Lord with us for just a few more moments. Hallelujah, Lord. You said, uh, Isaiah 28 and 16, God, you said, they that believe won't make haste. 
Those that believe won't rush it. You're the rushing mighty wind, the rushing mighty wind. We don't rush it. We wait on you today, my beloved. I thank you for that that you're going to do in this room today. You said where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. 2 Corinthians 3, verse 17. I thank you, Holy Ghost, where you are. There is freedom. 